Good morning, everyone. 823 on your Tuesday morning. Depression, anxiety, ADHD, mental illness is common in kids. But the question is how best to treat it. Child psychiatrist Dr. Monique Jericho is here now with what parents should consider when it comes to medications for their children with mental illness. Good morning to you. Hi. So first of all, how common is mental illness in children? It's quite common. It's very common. I don't think we uh, often kind of sit back and reflect upon this, that somewhere between 10 and 20 percent of youth between the ages of 12 and 17 are affected significantly by a mental health problem. Wow, that's a large group of people. It really is. Yeah. It really is. Okay, yeah. so then a question is, how do we treat it, right? Mm -hmm. So there's so many options, and yeah. of course, depending on the illness itself, right? Absolutely, absolutely. There's so many things to consider when we're looking at addressing concerns uh, in, with mental health in kids and in adolescents. And, you know, by the time you've gotten to the stage where you're going to seek help from a professional, mm -hmm. you've probably tried a variety of common sense things. You know, you've done your best as a parent, and now you're at a point where you're looking to see what other options exist. Okay. Right? And when you're looking at those options, it's so important to always, always weigh the risks and the benefits of whatever is being suggested. Okay. Well, let's go through. You've given me a list here of the yeah. common things that you hear in your practice from yeah. parents all the time. Okay, Absolutely. so number one, will my child become addicted to the medication? Mm. Yeah, it's a really, really common and important question. A really important question because, you know, of course, we don't want to do any harm. What we're trying to do is solve a problem, not create a new one. Right, right. right. And so for the vast majority of illnesses that we treat, in uh, children and adolescents, addiction to medications is not an issue at all. At all, okay. Not at all. In ADHD, there is this potential risk that people worry about a lot, um, probably a lot more than what the research would suggest. Okay. Okay, so there's a potential risk of addiction that's really more theoretical than anything else. But the big news there is that what we know is that when we do not treat these disorders, the rates of addiction and substance use go way up, meaning when you don't treat the disorder, kids fall into paths where they start to use drugs and alcohol in really concerning ways. Okay, so this is something you want to take seriously and treat it appropriately. Absolutely. Okay, Absolutely. wonderful. Yeah. Okay, well, let's go on to the next one here. Will my child need to stay on this medication forever? Right. So many people worry that this is somehow a life sentence. Right. Okay, and it's yeah. not, and it never is. Um, again, what we're trying to do is risks and benefits, right? And in order to know what the benefit is of a medication, you're going to have to try it. Right, right, right. So once you've tried this medication, hey, if it's helpful and it's working, that's fantastic. Right. Because now your kid can have all of those great developmental experiences. They can feel more capable, more confident, do better in school, et cetera. Right. Right? And then is that yeah. something that you revisit? Exactly. Okay. At any point in time. And if there's any concerns, uh, it's not at all something that, you know, you have to imagine is now this is forever. Right. Yeah, not at and all. And what if they're doing really well for an extended period of time? Is that when you then have that conversation about, hey, well, maybe we can try coming off this medication. Absolutely. You know, the research will tell us, you know, roughly kind of what the time frame is for safely treating and discontinuing a medication. But it's always back to the patient and it's always back to the parents to have that dialogue with your provider. You know, everyone has to feel comfortable. Otherwise, any kind of treatment is just not going to work. Right, right, right. Okay, so yeah. very quickly, we're running out of time, but yeah. I really like this question. Will yeah. this make my child feel that they can be just taking a medication for everything? Like, are they going to miss right. out some of those life skills? Right, right. So, so a lot of quickly, yeah. parents very, very worried about this. And what I would always say is that, you know, if your kid is so depressed that they're not motivated, so anxious that they can't go out and do things, so distracted that they can't focus in school, then, you know, they're sitting at such a disadvantage. They're not going to be able to be on par with their peers and actually be able able to learn the skills and tools that you want them to learn to grow and thrive. So the medication helps your child to grow and thrive, learn skills, develop strategies. And it works well, together. It works together. Monique, yeah. thank you so much for being yeah. here. Great information yeah. as always.